Put a smile on your face When you're moving from place to place, place. Good morning, good morning, morning Good morning, morning Welcome back to the morning show on Tobago Updates Television. I am Adana Kambi. It is 7.54 a.m. So if you're not pulling into the car park right now, you are going to be late. But it doesn't mean you have to speed. You just heard from the TTPSA about being safe on the nation's roads. So we implore you to please be safe as you get to work and drop the children off to school. All right. So we continue in conversations this morning in studio with our guest. And we're speaking with Miss Natasha Allen. And she's a legal officer with the Legal Aid and Advice authority of Trinidad and Tobago and something very um, interesting the topic is free legal aid for Bell Garden and environment so we want to get into that conversation this morning good morning and welcome how are you good morning good morning and thank you I'm happy to be here right we're ha okay <laughs> we're happy to have you also and we want to talk a little bit about the legal aid and advisory authority yes um what are the services that they provide mm -hmm. and what is the purpose for establishing such an authority in Trinidad and Tobago yes well the legal aid and advisory authority has been around for quite a while and as the name suggests legal aid assistance and advisory anybody could come in and get advice on any matter within Trinidad and Tobago, um, civil, criminal, and we also offer representation for person who may not be able to afford private counsel. Right, awesome. And so this is this can be accessed by anybody, any citizen of Trinidad and Tobago. That's correct. Doesn't matter the the situation. Once you have you are available to provide the service, you will provide the service. Is there any qualifying um, criteria to access the services? Certainly. So for advisory persons walk in to any one of our offices, the fee is $50. So it's not free. Okay. All right. So it's $50 for advisory. Thereafter, if you qualify, yes, there are qualifying criteria, whether it is for criminal matters or for civil matters, there are different qualifying criteria. All right. So we will do an assessment of the individual and for criminal matters or matters within the law court, that application goes before the master or the magistrate and it is to their discretion to approve the application for high court matters that's where the whole process about a means test comes into play and so that application then goes through an investigative process and it also goes to a board which approves or denies the application accordingly all right so it doesn't matter your ability to be able to pay for your own um legal aid or whatever your own legal situation you might be in a situation that you mm. might need to access some sort of legal support mm -hmm. does it matter if you are able to financially pay to pay for your own um, legal yes. aid or or so that was one of the, the questions i wanted yes, to it, find. It, it does matter that's why i mentioned a means test right. so there is a means test so of course we do look at your income and we look at your capital so if your income surpasses um over thirty six thousand dollars for the year um when we consider other deductions, then you may not qualify for aid as it relates to civil matters because that, as I said, goes through a different process as opposed to criminal matters or magistrate court matters, right? right? So persons, maybe like you, who are working for over $7,000 a month, <laughs> I'm assuming, <laughs> may not qualify as it were for representation. But of course, you can always come, no matter your income, to get advice. Right. That is across the board, $50. Right, awesome. Right? I know you're going to be in Bell Garden yes. providing this information. And, and, you know, I'm happy that you're here today so that people can have this measure of education in terms of legal aid and the services you provide and how to access the service yes. and how to determine if you need some sort of legal aid. Because sometimes we might not know that we need yes. um, help. Yes. And sometimes we might not know where to go. There are some people who might be a little bit shy. You have a situation and you're overwhelmed because... Yes where do i go mm -hmm. and so you are in bell garden so tell yes. us a little bit about your time you're going to be spending in bell garden and what people can expect of you being there certainly bell garden and environs here we come the legal aid and advisory authority tobago district office will be in your area we are inviting everyone in bell garden and environs to come out we'll be at the bell garden multi-purpose facility wednesday the 20th of march yes that's just this week, all right? So we'll be there from 9 a.m. to 2.30 
p.m. And you can expect to get advice on criminal matters as well as civil matters, including divorce, eviction, um, maintenance, any family matters, and also estate matters. And for those of you who may not be able to come to Bell Garden, we are at the Caribana building in Bacolet Street, in Bacolet rather. So you can always meet us there. You know, I'm sure many people know where the NIS office is. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that's a landmark. So right after the NIS office, there's a orangish building there. You come through the car park and our door is the first in the car park. So for those who may not know. And it's always interesting to meet people still today who do not know about the Legal Aid and Advisory Authority. And that's why we are going throughout Tobago to ensure that our citizens here know. Because oftentimes they come after their matter has progressed to a stage that, you know, it's, it's difficult now to take up the matter. Yes. Mm -hmm. As opposed to if they had come earlier. And then you ask them, so why didn't you come earlier? Well, I didn't know about the legal aid right. and I didn't have money to go by a private attorney. So we are here to let you know that you can come into us. And for persons probably who like um, they are getting grants from the government, public assistance grants and stuff like that. Sometimes their fee is waived when they come because we understand as a legal advisory authority that they may not have the facility and the monies to be able to pay for it. And once you qualify, the government pays. So in other words, you get the service free. Okay. And we have attorneys like myself who are in-house attorneys and we also have attorneys on our external panel. So even the attorneys who work in private practice, who you would go and pay for, um, they are on our panel. And so you can also facilitate or use those attorneys and the government pays them to represent you. Bell Garden alone is not on our agenda. Yes. <laughs> so next month, we will be going to Louis Dore. So you can expect us Louis Dore. So you don't have to run over to Bell Garden if it's not urgent. You can wait until next month, the 17th of April. We will be at the Louis Dore Multipurpose Facility on the 17th of April. And on the 16th of May, we are heading all the way to Charlottesville. We will be at the Charlottesville Public Library. And we have some other dates coming up. So as time progresses, we'll tell you more about those dates. You know, I want to say thank you so much to you, Miss um, Allen, for coming. And even given this this public education and the fact that it doesn't end in Bell Garden, that yes. you're going to other communities yes. to provide this level of service and also to bring the information to persons who are unaware yes. of the services provided and the fact that they can access the services. So if you you are in the need of legal aid or even if you're not sure mm. uh, they will be in bell garden so you can come out listen to what um they have to say and decide you can make an assessment thereafter do i really need legal aid and what steps to take next and if you are not from bell garden and you're from other areas as mentioned louis doan and charlotteville you can also access and further in their office in scarborough yes. ladies and gentlemen we have to bring the conversation to an end at this point as we head on over to our other programming this morning we end the morning show right here and we thank you so so much for staying with us right through the very end. And before we go, we want to remind you that we're heading over to Tobago Notes and then GMT with Candice Jackson. And before we go, of course, we want to ask you to share the live, share the live, share the live.